night for the soul of every Chicago artist. A place where ideas and creations can be displayed and expressed. It's a way to bring artists together and understand that this is a community more than anything of artists that need to work together because we're all poor most likely. <laughs> um, and all of us want venues and things to do, but a lot of us don't have the opportunity, whether because we're not famous enough, uh, whatever that is, or just nerves straight up. I wanted a way to bring everyone together and just merge it all so everyone can flow all around and just embrace everything that's art. The Bleeding Hearts Art Fest draws in visual art, short films, reading bands and DJs. Yeah, so I have four pieces up. It's pretty awesome. I mean, I really can't say anything else about it. I think that they did a really great job. It looks fantastic. It really does not matter if you're making money or not. Um, if, you are, if you're finding joy in what you're doing, your, your art is going to reflect it. Over the course of the night, artists from all over the city have their opportunity to relish in their imagination, no matter how well known or unknown they were. It just it feels really good for people to come up to me and appreciate my work as much as I appreciate it. And for that to make me feel good is a good night. Like it makes me feel good that I came here, I put out my heart, I put out what I put out. Outer Deck Theater hosts this event at the New Rock, where they kindly accept donations at the door to fund local artists and new shows. The Bleeding Hearts Art Fest is a place for the Chicago art community to come share, collaborate, and strut their stuff. There are two more festivals planned for this year, and Columbia College students are always welcome. So if you're looking for a good time and a place to display your craft, you can visit www.autodactheater.com. For Newsbeat, I'm Jennifer Sheehan.